right, I'm making this video because there's a lot of these leveraged and inverse leveraged funds going around today. There's ones on QQQ, Spy, Apple, Tesla. They're basically everywhere, and a lot of people don't know how they work. Um, so when you hear leverage, you immediately think of classical leverage, which is just taking out a loan. This is, this is not how these funds work, because they don't want to go into, say, have a negative return. So what they will do, or have a net, like negative 150% return. So what they do is they, they double the like daily return, basically. So if a fund, or let's say QQQ goes up 2% in a day, the daily leverage funds are going to go up 4%, 3%, 4%, and 6% respectively for 1.5, 2x, and 3x. And daily inverse leveraged, obviously, down, same amounts. And why this is different is because if you were just long uh, taking out a loan on a stock, you'd get the same return for the first day, but on the second day, it, it's going to be different. And um, when you're doing a just changing the daily return, that's not the case. You're getting, if it goes up 2% the next day, still getting 3%, 4%, 6%. And where this changes things is your return is almost always going to be skewed to the downside when it trades flat over for an extended period of time. So you see, if you just have the daily stock and let's say it just goes completely flat, the 1.5x, slight underperformance, 3x, big underperformance. And it's even worse for the inverse leverage just because this is slightly positive. You're getting losses across the board on everything. And if you had just taken out a loan and bought the stock, it would be completely different. And where this like can go wrong is, let's say, one of these days something terrible happened. You had a 20% drop followed by a 16% rise. Cumulative, that's only 5%. But when you take into account just how these funds work, I mean... No, you're not getting wiped out here, but that's terrible. This is not a 3x increase. That's that's more like 8%, uh, eight, 8 times underperformance, which is insane. And way you really see this is stuff like, gosh, say uh, oil and gas exploration with uh, 3x daily leverage. And if you see over time, it, it, it's done great. It's a 1,000% return since the bottom, but... If you held this for the long term, you'd have been completely wiped out just because you'll get some great outperformance sometimes, but those 90% drops, you just can't come back from those. It's a complete wipeout. There's so many like this. SQQQ, complete wipeout. UVXY, I'm pretty sure this one's a bit different, but total wipeout. I mean, just if you see stock like this or, or an ETF, just trade it maybe one month max do not hold for the long term now where it gets different is stuff like tqqq which you'll see this return is insane it's 40 percent annualized and i've heard some people saying that this is sustainable which can be debated i mean this one can't have those huge drawdowns i mean it can it happened in 2020 but this didn't completely wipe out the fund. It, it was an 80% drop followed by, what is this, a 1,000% rally? So some people say that this is something good to hold for the long term, but I, I disagree. This this could, if this goes too low, it'll, it could just stay down there forever, never bounce back, even if QQQ continues to outperform well. Basically, these things, they perform great in an up market absolutely amazing but the second it turns against them or it starts just going into some shop they, they just get completely ruined so that's it